Hello, Internet, world of the Internet, the Internet of the world, whichever one it is. Um, so I've been working on something for a very long time uh, called All the Shapes You Are, uh, essentially shapes that associate with guitar uh, because, you know, for some reason uh, it has been taught to us that, oh, look at the guitar, it's such a shape-based instrument. Oh, C, I got a G, I got a G, I got a C, E, H. Uh, all of it is very true. Um, to, it is indeed like a shape-based based instrument. It shapes very nice. Um, <laughs> but uh, the shape-based uh, instrument here is uh, the fact that the, it comes from the fact that the guitar is tuned a particular way. Uh, most of the world, the regular world, if you are still playing your uh, C major chord like this, you are using some form of standard tuning. Like whether you want to tune down equally um, use one of these to like pitch up sadly you can't put the capo here and pitch down that does not work uh, but you know put the thing here and then still play the same shape right uh, a lot of people tend to call this C major though I would advise you from not but it makes it easier of course still C major right uh, not but it's the shape right and that's what people refer to not the chord name um, so if you still play C major like that and you play E major like that and all the other chord forms that come in this wonderful caged system, right? Right? Um, right? Like that. Uh, you are using some kind of standard tuning and the standard in that tuning would be like everything being a fourth apart uh, from the fattest string to the thinnest string except for your relation between your third string and your second string which is a third apart. Easy to remember, right? Eh? Uh, the cool part about that, th that makes the guitar very uh, repetitive, right? Uh, one common thing that you would, you would definitely hear people say is that, oh, I can play uh, the same E in different places or the same note in different places, and that's what makes uh, something like sight reading so difficult on the guitar, right? Uh, is that there are three, four different places you can play the same thing, and uh, there isn't any specifically like, uh, you know, uh, which position to play, etc., etc., unless it's a guitar based notation chart, right? Or you're using tabs. Ain't nothing using tab, ain't, ain't nothing wrong in using tabs. As long as you have the rhythm in there, it's all good. Uh, as long as you're reading stuff, it's all good. The end product is to make music and not to fight that, right? So, all the shapes you are is something that's based around this uh, idea of where you can use the guitar, its inherent nature of having shapes, uh, and move things around, right? And essentially, you get what you want to get through that, right? Uh, you get many more answers through that, meaning you get many more chords through that, you get many more solutions through that, which means you can play more in one place. Um, and the possibilities are uh, limitless, right? So this is just a preview into this. I'm having a full-blown uh, book, uh, a whole bunch of videos that you can buy uh, on this topic, which only scratch the surface because it is a vast thing to capture and to like you know remember and to actually utilize because uh, there's no point of learning a billion things and you can't find use for it uh, but that doesn't mean learning a billion things is wrong it's great to have it in your trick bag uh, or in your bag and you know use it when you want to uh, having access to that facility is very important uh, but it is also kind of counterproductive to say, hey, I'm going to learn chicken picking and uh, you're a clarinet player. Uh, yes, there are definitely benefits to it, uh, but the go what I'm trying to say is that like functionality is important and the more you use it, the better it gets, right? Uh, so with that, really, really easy concept, right? Uh, the idea being, let's just take a very simple shape um, on the guitar, right? Which would be, I'm just going to take this F major here, which is in... E form, uh, E form because it's in the E major shape here, right? Uh, and hence the form. So, like exactly when I put the capo and did the C major, and uh, this is called the C major, right? So, this is C form, right? So, similarly, uh, it's C form, A form, all of those. And you can do this with a bar, with a capo, whatever. But we're going to take F major in E form. We are going to eliminate the, this bar for now and eliminate the ring finger also for now, right? And end up getting this shape, which is our stock F major sound, right? Three strings only, F, A, C, right? Um, really easy to remember. So three, two, one, uh, three on the D string, two on the G string, and one on the 
on the B string. We're going to try swapping fingers and seeing what happens. So voila, so you have F major, swap your index finger and middle finger. You get D flat major, D flat major, right? But in first inversion. So a progression such as that can now be condensed to right, into that, uh, which is much easier. I mean, it's not the same sound. It's not that I mean, I'm not saying this is wrong. This is just another way to look at the same thing, right? F major to D flat major. Now swap fingers around again to your index and your ring finger, right? So now I get this. Right now, this is a really interesting shape. Right? Uh, this is one five, <clears throat> one five flat seven, yeah, right? So it's like a dominant chord of sorts, but without the third, which is missing, which would be. That would be the third, right? So it's kind of like a. Uh, it's like playing this. And this has to resolve to that, right? Uh, 5 to 1, E flat to A flat. Uh, so there you go, dominant chord again. Very, that's an A flat major triad right there, right? So uh, three shapes in one. So 1. F major. So you're going to take, if I call this as one major, set, one major, right? So one flat six major, right? And flat seven dominant, right? And then I have this guy. So this guy is multi chord, uh, multi tonal chord, depends on what's on the root, right? Um, entirely depends on what's on the root. So if I put a C on the root, this becomes a C minus six to the ninth, right? If I put a B on the root, it becomes a B7 sharp 9 or a B Jimi Hendrix chord, right? If I put a B flat on the root, it becomes a major 7 sharp 11 sound, right? Uh, if I put a G in the root, this is actually a very familiar chord, right? Uh, I'll leave this up to you guys to name. You can leave that in the comments below or message me or wonder what it is for the rest of your lives all is good right and put f sharp in the root you get this and you put f in the root you get an f13 chord right so this is multi this is multi chord like it's a whole bunch of stuff right so essentially i'm just going now you can go higher too right uh, and this is the basis of all the shapes you are right so you could like do a lot of things like uh, with these progressions with these shapes uh, essentially this was me showing you what the chord shapes are uh, in regards to just doing um, a very useful functional triad sense you could think of triads as being upper structures as bigger harmonies and you can come up with your own ideologies and things like that for harmonies um, and like I said the possibilities are limitless I haven't even touched the fact that you could spread these voicings not to be confused with spread triads which are like basically like this now do not confuse what i mean by spread the voicing is that let's say that, that this is the interval between each which is major third minor third here right i'm going to just spread everything out by a semitone so i get i get this right and then the same procedure like so the limit the, the, the limit to this is only a creativity and how you can functionally assign these things uh, to be useful in harmony in playing lines. I mean, this could definitely be, it's not just a chordal thing. It's not only for you to probably try. It's not only for that. So maybe you could do. one place like everything just there uh, so I hope you have fun this is a really short but a very useful one and uh, the book and the videos everything will be out more links on these soon uh, till that keep practicing guys <laughs>